Hey guys, good morning. It is time for another episode of Sign Carvers of the Day, in case you guys don't know what that is. So that is where you guys have these cool looking signs that you send us and we show them on the channel. So just as a side note, many of these are actually premium members, executive members. In case you're new to the channel, you don't know what that is, that is where you can actually have a monthly membership and uh, the big deal there is uh, free router bit sharpening. So any bits that you buy from us, we sharpen for you for free. All you do is pay the shipping back and forth. And then there's a lot of other value and benefits as well. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description below. You can go check it out. Anyway, all right, let's jump right into it. So this is December of 2022, the 11th through December 21st. So if you guys sent me a picture in that time frame, it should be in this group. If it's not, and you did send it, then be sure and let me know. Maybe somehow I got it mixed up or whatever. But when you do send in pictures, keep, a, keep track of the dates that you send them to me. And then that way in the title, you'll know where your picture should show up. All right, first off, we have Greg Langhoff. And this one's really cool. It is our little witch on a broom template. And he did a really cool blue and black coloring on a beautiful piece of cedar. Love it. Great job, Greg. Next, we have Robert Riley. So uh, these are some great looking signs. These are three different signs. And by the way, that's a great idea if you guys have multiple signs, being as I can only take one picture per month per person, if you have multiple signs you wanna to put together on a picture, that is a great way to do it. And that's exactly what Robert did here. Great looking signs, Robert. Uh, love the artwork, the turtle and eagle and dolphin and stuff. Good job. Next, we have Alan Lynch. Alan has been getting some of his wood for free from furniture left from garage sales that they just leave out on the curb or in the driveway. So uh, that's a great source for free wood. So anyway, this is a great portrait of the Three Stooges. I absolutely love it. Great job, Alan. Next, we have Michael Rowell. Uh, I think I'm saying that correct. This is Michael's very first sign and uh, I actually have received some other pictures from Michael and he's doing some great stuff. So for your very first sign, Mike, uh, Michael, great job. Keep them coming. Uh, I love this one. I absolutely love this picture. James Holder, and this is a, he's a fairly new sign carver and he made a sign for his daughters, Zoe and Sophia. And I uh, absolutely love this picture. It's awesome. Anytime you can get your kids and signs involved in the same picture, great job. Love it, James. Now we have a first sign from Jeff Schraft. Hope I'm saying that right, Jeff. I apologize if I'm not. This looks like a piece of walnut or it may be just a stained walnut. And for a first sign, you did a good job, Jeff. Keep it up. Hope you're having fun. Next, we have a longtime viewer, Jonathan Epps. Jonathan and has been uh, part of our community for years and is a great sign carver. As you can see, Jonathan uh, knocked it out of the park, buddy. Looks absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much for all the support. Keep up the great work, buddy. Love it. Brian Burrows. This is a three quarter inch thick by 19 and a half by 37 inch pine and he freehand carved the stars and i think he did a fantastic job the the flags are very very popular great job brian hope you're selling some of those terrific work next we have don spicer don has been with us for years uh, terrific looking clock out of teak this is a 15 inch teak round and he used the profile bit and the spiral and it's got a multi-level to it and i think it looks fantastic beautiful work man i just love making signs out of teeth just beautiful work i love it great job next we have matt aquaro i hope i'm saying that right matt i apologize if i got it wrong a 16 by 20 piece of plywood and he's been carving signs for about a year and a half. And this obviously is a tribute to maybe one of his friends. And I think you did a great job on this, Matt. Um, it just goes to show you can definitely use plywood uh, if you pick the right kind of plywood. Great job, Matt. Love it. 
Next we have Terry Roth and he made this from reclaimed fence boards. Cool little welcome sign. Got a nice rustic edge to it and uh, did a great job Terry. Keep it up buddy. Next we have the wonderful Tessa Mathis and Tessa um, got a cool little sign here and I think this is one that uh, definitely could be a stock sign that uh, could be very very popular made this from the panel board at Menards uh, great job Tessa love it next we have Tom Stone his very first sign and uh, I wish the picture was a little bit better it's uh, kind of out of focus maybe it'll look better for you guys but it looks like it's a piece of cedar I don't know that it is but that's what it looks like great job Tom love it next we have Anwar Cure and this is a firefighter recruit class flag and uh, just looks spectacular I love the the artwork and uh, all the details here Anwar and that space in the middle of the clover is actually for a class picture so terrific job and I think this could be another item that uh, that actually could sell really well next up we have D Ginkle and this is a piece of black walnut and it, it actually is a box it's an urn and it's eight inches by eight inches by ten inches with some beautiful artwork on it and uh, just fantastic woodworking D you did a great job looks like a beautiful finish I absolutely love it terrific job mixing uh, fine woodworking in with your routing great work D next we have Roger Cowart and this is his first sign ever for his grandson uh, who is six years old Ethan and uh, I think it just came out great Roger I'm sure Ethan absolutely loves it I very I think it's probably really popular with Ethan and his friends next we have David Schultz now this is spectacular David is one of those guys that is mixing his routing with his power carving so he did this on reclaimed two by sixes and he used the critter gun and water-based spar urethane and man I love the routing and the power carving if you guys haven't tried that yet and you have the availability to do that man it is a blast and gives just such a great effect great job David love it next we have a longtime viewer Pete Alvarado who actually came to one of our seminars over here several years ago this is 16 by 36 teak and this was donated to an auction to raise dollars to support retired sheriff's working dogs to help with medication surgeries surgeries and food costs um, awesome work he raised thirteen hundred dollars for this sign which is uh, spectacular and it's absolutely just a stunning sign Pete awesome job dude and next we have Charles Walker so he made a custom coat rack one by ten by five foot long knotty pine routed edges and then painted with blue water-based paint and immediately wiped it off then he dried it and sanded it lightly with a hand block 100 grit to remove the paint from the high spots and I just think it came out spectacular that fish it looks like a mounted bass right on that coat rack so obviously has artistic ability working with colors and this just is a perfect example of being able to mix you know routing with artistic ability um, and woodworking great job Charles love it and last but not least Dick Mason he's a retired electrical engineer and as you can see he mixed routing and the Lichtenberg uh, burning process or fractal burning which uh, can be very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing that's why I don't do it but I so admire it it just looks really really cool so terrific job Dick there you go guys there it is that is 20 uh, terrific sign carvers of the day and um, keep sending those pictures in uh, and if we hadn't mentioned it already if you guys haven't subscribed yet 
please do subscribe. We're getting really close to 50,000 subscribers and that's a mark that I have been wanting to hit for years and years and years. Click that little bell icon. We do three videos a week. It's all for you guys. Hope you find them useful. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.